Good morning, everyone. Happy Wednesday. It doesn't feel like Wednesday. It feels like Tuesday because Monday was a holiday. Are you guys with me? I went to the gym yesterday um, and there was no one there. No one. So usually, um, I will tell you guys, this has nothing to do with travel. But um, I go to a TRX class on Tuesdays and so it's usually like packed out. Like there's hardly enough time to like get a strap. Um, if you show up late, then you know, your host, all of those different types of things. And there was only five people in class yesterday. Hey, Wendy, how's it going? Um, so I felt like I had gotten the time wrong and I was like, oh my gosh, like, wait, is it not happening because Monday was Monday and we didn't have classes on Monday. And so then the Tuesday is affected from the Monday, but I feel like it's still that way. Like, cause it's Wednesday and it doesn't feel like Wednesday. Um, I know some of you guys are like, what is she talking about? Good morning, Wendy. Um, I love how I have two Wendy's here watching me today. Um, Wendy and Wendy, can you tell me, um, what you love to bring when you are traveling? So I will have to say, um, Wendy W, um, travels every day for her job. And so I know she has one or two things up her sleeve that she loves to take with her. Um, but if you are watching either now or on the replay, if you will tell me in the comments below, what is one thing that you always travel with to help you stay on plane. Um, and then that way we can kind of encourage and support, e support each other. Um, I will post some pics below with um, things that I have done in the past and products that I have found at like local grocery stores and all of the things that I feel like are easy and non-perishable. But if you have something that you really enjoy then I would say post that in the comments below and then that way we can all benefit from it as well. So if you haven't figured it out today, we are talking about all things travel. And so I'll be doing um, a two or three part series just depending on how much information we kind of go through. But for sure, again, next week. And next week we're gonna talk about local travel. So we'll talk about like parties and barbecues and all of those fun summary things. Um, but today we're gonna be talking about long-term travel. Okay, so long-term travel, as in you have to stay overnight, okay? So most of the time, I would say these things are done by car, but they could be doing, you know, could be done through plane. That's, you know, completely acceptable as well, but not as pertinent or applicable to most of us, I would say. So today we are talking about having a plan when we travel, Gigo figure, right? So... I know it seems so simplistic to say you have to have a plan, um, but it's so important, okay? So we want to have a plan to make sure that we succeed. So Wendy always brings her creamer. I agree with that 100%. Um, ooh, chomps, yes. Cucumber, pepper, kefir, yogurt, yum. And a cooler. Yep, we're going to be talking about a cooler too. Okay, good. Very good Good ideas, guys. Um, you guys are stealing some of my thunder and I love it, okay? So when we talk about traveling, when we talk about making sure that we have a plan, the first aspect of that before we get into the physical things of what we bring is being mentally prepared, okay? So how many times do we say, oh, I'll be okay. Oh, I'll find something. Oh, it's easy enough to like stay on plan. I know this plan like the back of my head and I know I can find a good protein. I know there's going to be a fruit or a vegetable, but I want you guys to know and plan out what you're actually going to consume more so than thinking, I got this in the bag. I can do this, which you probably can. I would completely agree with you, but you are more likely to hold yourself accountable if you know what you are going to consume beforehand, okay? And so it seems, again, very simplistic, but backwards plan on how many days that you're going to be traveling, okay? In the car versus actually staying at a, at a location, okay? So you need to plan for somewhere between three to four meals for each of these days, 
okay? Which I know it seems like a lot, but that doesn't mean that necessarily you have to pack all of those things. I'm just saying you need to have a plan for all of those things, okay? So that means that, you know, breakfast, hey, I'm gonna do that at the hotel. They always have boiled eggs. They always have, you know, oatmeal, and I can easily, you know, put some collagen in that. They usually have fruit that I can take with me um, for later on during the day that I can either add a cheese stick or I could add another source of protein that I have there and with me to make an easy E. These are the things that I'm talking about. So if you know breakfast is going to be usually at the hotel, hey, I know lunch, we're going to be able to stop somewhere that's a sandwich shop. So think about the sandwich shops that give you an option for lettuce wraps, okay? So that would be like Jimmy John's. I know I see a lot of people with that. I see a lot of people with Chick-fil-A as a great alternative for on the road. Um, Panda is another one. There's actually a Trim Healthy Mama eating out guide that I can attach to the bottom of this as well. Ooh, she, so Wendy says that she loves to take muffins um, for fruit as an e-meals. Um, that's great. And then everything works good and in the cooler. Yep. No, that's awesome. I would have to say your cooler is a must when we're in the car. I would agree with that completely. 110%. I never go anywhere unless I have a cooler. And I would have to say some of this is because I have littles, but even when it was just me and my husband, when the hangry comes out, like everything gets thrown out the window, right? So if you don't have a plan for an emergency, like, Hey, I know that we were going to stop and we didn't get a chance to stop and you know where we ended up stopping didn't have what I wanted. These are all these in case of emergencies. One of the things that I always tell my clients too is to pack a water bottle, like a shaker bottle that you, you know, see most people in the gyms with and just to put some type of protein in the bottom of it and just pack that and put it in your car. It's something that is non-perishable. It's something that never goes bad and you should always have water with you, right? If you don't always have water with you, you need to go back a couple weeks where we talked about hydration. And so I always have water with me and then I always have a shaker bottle. So this is my emergency. This is my, you know, okay, great. Yeah, no, it doesn't really taste that, that wonderful. I completely agree with you. But when we're in a case of emergency, we're not looking for something that tastes really great and amazing. We're looking for something that's going to sustain us until we can get to where we need to go to get us what we want or what we have to have to continue on, okay? So is a protein shake gonna be amazing? No, but it's gonna make sure the hangry doesn't come out and that's what we wanna make sure that happens. Also, we want to plan our not on plans. So how many times have you thought something was going to be somewhere but you ended up getting there and it was a surprise and you're like, mm, I don't know why they don't offer anything that's not grilled. Mm, why is everything breaded or fried? Hmm they don't have salads okay so did you guys know this a lot of the mcdonald's don't offer salads anymore i know right so i will tell you to have a plan okay if we don't have a plan we're planning to fail i know you guys have heard this many times but i think it's worth saying again don't assume you will be okay assume that you have a plan okay always have that emergency there and ready for you okay the other thing that I wanted to talk about, like Wendy was saying, is the cooler, okay? So the cooler, I would have to say, is my number one thing that we will always have with us. I will tell you in advance, I always put my cooler in the back because I am guilty for the munching. You know, I'm the one that's like, there's nothing to do in the car. I always have to be doing something. I always have to be, you know, kind of fiddling with my hands or in my phone or something. And so... A lot of times I won't be driving if we're, if we're going as a family, but if I'm going solo, I always have to feel like I need a nibble on something, which carrots and, you know, cucumbers and peppers and things like that. That's great, great options. Um, so if you want to keep those there um, in your in your console or readily available, that's completely fine. But I always end up, you know, not wanting those. I want the, the goodies that are in, you know, the cooler. And so I always put my cooler in the back and then I know I'm going to stop every three to four hours 
And when I stop to go putty, then I can get out what I'm going to eat and I can consume that. And so one of the things that I was also going to talk about was what we pack in the cooler. And so Wendy has given us some great options on that. Hey, Nettie. Um, but I wanted to talk about things that maybe you haven't thought of. So we all kind of gravitated to those things that we can keep cool that, that, you know, are sandwiches, their wraps, their yogurts, there's things that we are going to eat cold. And a lot of times I'll have people that tell me, but I don't want to eat something that's cold for, you know, two days while we travel. And that's okay too. So what is one place that you can always go that will give you a option to have a microwave most of the time? I will say like 90% of the time there will be a microwave there and it will be free of charge. A truck stop. So if you guys are stopping at actual gas stations, probably not. A truck stop? Yes. A truck stop will usually have more fresh produce in it as well. Now, I mean, don't hold me to that if you pull up to one and they don't have bananas or the little cups of veggies. But most of the time, this is what happens. So Wendy nailed it. Yep. Truck stop. So use your truck stops. They are great places. They have a little bit cleaner restrooms a lot of times. They have more drink options. You can usually find a buy or um, a Tapo Chico. You can find these things that are a little bit more specific to what you're wanting to stay on plant with. I will also say that you can take those leftovers that were going to go bad in your refrigerator and bring them with you. So put them in individual containers for, you know, a meal and bring them in with you to the truck stop. Microwave it up and sit in the car and eat whatever you're going to have and then keep going. Okay, so this is a great way for you to have something warm and this is also a great way for you to save a little bit of money on the way. So don't let those leftovers go to waste. Bring them with you in your cooler. The other thing that I wanted to talk about is if you are still in the car, one of the things that I always make sure that I have is a few appliances, which seems really crazy, but they are lifesaver for me. So if we are going somewhere where there is a bed and breakfast, a lot of times they will have appliances already there. So I always just, you know, message the person out, hey, do you guys happen to have a crock pot? Hey, um, is there gonna be this there? Or is is this an option for you guys to have there? And sometimes they don't. I mean, like, let's, let's be honest, they're not gonna usually have a Vitamix, and that's okay. Um, I have been known to bring my Vitamix um, in a summer setting a blend jet, exactly where I was going with that, Wendy, exactly. So if you don't have a Vitamix and you haven't had the time um, to be able to pack it out even, if it's too big, it's too bulky, a blend jet is a great option. So it's a handheld blender that you can make smoothies and wonderful lovelies in. Um, I know some people even make like salsa and things like that in it too, but it's quick and easy to clean. It's portable, it's chargeable. Blend jets are a great way to go. Um, most of the time they'll have crock pots. Sometimes they'll have Instapots. They'll have of course like, you know, cooking plans. And so if you are staying in a B&B, I mean, usually you have it pretty much made because you have a kitchen there with you. I will also say if you are going to someone else's home, a great option would be to offer to cook. I mean, I don't know about you, but when someone comes to my house and I'm hosting and they offer to cook, I'm like, yes, please. That would be wonderful. Okay. So if you can cook in someone's home and bless them with that as they are hosting you, I would say to make it be an FP. A lot of times FPs are only put into the subcategory of snacks. Um, they can sometimes feel like they are not enough to keep us sustained, but it doesn't have to be that way. I will tell you there are some great FPs that you can pull off that no one would know that you are eating as an FP. Okay, so for me and my family, we love Mexican food. And so one of the things that I will always do is, you know, like a taco night, a taco salad night. And so this gives everybody the option to be able to make things as they are. So for me, I will take, you know, a ground, a lean ground turkey or a venison. I'll make that up into taco meat, or I'll do like fajitas with a chicken breast. And you'll have, you know, the peppers and the onions and all of those different things. Hey, Brandy. But 
with that being said, you can take that and put it on lettuce and make it into a salad with some salsa as your dressing. And it's great. It's big. It fills you up. Plenty of non-starchies. Great way to go. But nobody else that's eating it has to feel deprived. So if they want to make those into nachos the next day as leftovers. If they want to make them into hard shell tacos or soft shell tacos, they could do that as well. They could, you know, put cheese and sour cream on it and make it into an S or a crossover. All of those things are going to be acceptable and not seem like you're, you know, you're putting anything weird in somebody else's table. You know, a lot of times we go, oh, well, are they going to like it? They'll like it. You're cooking it. You're a good cook. Um, the other thing that I would say would be egg roll in a bowl. It's another good one. I just kind of tend to do tacos because I feel like a lot of people like tacos and I don't have to have a recipe book for tacos, right? I can just, you know, throw a little bit of this and that and, you know, boom, together. Um, so make your F piece. Let it be the time that when you cook is when you have your F piece and make enough to have leftovers to where you can have leftovers the next day and continue on with that FP. Because a lot of times when we travel, as you guys know, those tend to be heavier things. S's are things that we end up a lot of times over consuming when we travel because they are the easiest things to find. So like Wendy was talking about earlier with your muffins and with your fruit, these are easy E options. So if you had an FP that you could solidify with that, you know, making sure that you are very intentional with those because if you aren't intentional with an FP, and a lot of times an E, when you are traveling, you're gonna get stuck in S land, okay? And then that's gonna end up, you know, leaving you lackadaisical, making you feel kind of icky sometimes because it's really heavy, especially in the summer. So plan out what you are going to consume, okay? The only other thing that I was gonna talk about would be long-term non-perishables. And so I will attach those down below when I leave the chat. And so you can look at those and the things that I have found beforehand that I've used, you know, multiple times that even my kids enjoy too. So I would say like one of those would be like, that's it bars. Um, they're not going to be extremely filling, but they are good non-perishable E. The chomps um, that was mentioned earlier is a great option, especially if you do the turkey ones, those are in an FP or you could use them as an E mode when you did put a carb in there with them. Another thing potentially would be making sure that you had what you need to always have a protein. And so Wendy talks about creamer and making sure that she always has that to put in her coffee. For me, I use like a powdered form and I'll always bring that. And then I'll either, you know, put it in the blend jet if I'm gonna make it cold or I'll have like the little stick blender and I can blend it up that way too. For when we're in a hotel but a lot of times if we're going to actually fly what i will end up doing is packing a box to ship okay it actually saves you money i know that you're spending you know 10 to 15 dollars to ship something but in all actuality if you're gonna go to the grocery store and buy additional collagen or buy additional protein making sure that you have little packs of peanut butter or the things that a lot of times we can't take with us on the plane because it's liquid unless it's put into the check bag. Those are the things that you can put in the box and it's there for you when you get there and you don't have to feel like, oh my gosh, I got to run out to the grocery store. Are they going to have what I want? Are they going to have the product that is comparable to what I use at home? It's going to be okay if it causes you less stress and anxiety to already have it there and waiting for you, pack it up and ship it out and then know that it's there and you don't have to worry about it because it's vacation after all, right? When we travel most of the time, it's because it's supposed to be relaxing and fun. And so don't let the worry of what you are going to consume be the thing that makes you have an anxious time on vacation. Um, I hope you guys all get to have some sort of vacation, even if it's a day trip, even if it's just traveling down to the road. I know we don't have a beach really close to us, but hopefully maybe you do. Um, if beaches are your thing, you can go and do. And so if you are not traveling this summer, I know these tips can still be applicable to you because we will all travel at some point in time. Um, next week, we're going to be talking about local travel. So parties, barbecues, things like that, like I had mentioned earlier. And so 
If you have suggestions for that, we'll be talking about that next week. If you have any other comments below about things that you take with you, things that you pack, things that you mail, things that you ship, all of those, um, post those in the comments below and I'll be putting pics out too soon. So it was lovely chatting with all of you ladies. Thank you so much for showing up and for coming. And if you are watching this on the replay, if you'll hashtag replay for me, I'd really appreciate that too. So until next time, have a great Wednesday, everybody.